Good evening, you darling Tyler Scenes, and welcome back to Retro Tech Comms. I'm your host, Jacob of Retro Tech, and I'm here with... Wrong good one. Kubo Clan 13. And we're playing more Tyler the Tasmanian Tiger for the PC. In the last episode, we completed Rex Marks the Spot, and we finally did all that after an hour and 41 minutes of recording, which was really, really annoying. <sighs> we're done with that. So this episode, Thank we are you. going to collect our boomerangs and get Fluffy's Fjord done and out of the way. Give me my boomerangs, I don't care. It's a kaboomerang, we also get the chrono ring, and that's it. That's all of the golden cogs. <laughs> Alright, the kaboomerangs are really cool because you can throw them and they explode. And the chrono rings slow things down, but they're completely useless, so there's no point in using them. Onwards to Fluffy's Fjord! Best boss music. In my opinion. I seem to be attracted to ice levels in this game. <laughs> Not me. Unless it's beyond the black snow, I, I, I kind of don't mm. like that place. That's why I don't remember it now that I think about it. I kind of didn't like that place as a kid. All right, smashing work time. We are finally there. What was that? What does that mean? Hardy Yaka. All right. Tell a, a thunder egg on tight beam of. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, what even? Alright, here we go. Man. Going on into Fluffy's Fjord. Interesting, boss. Dun, 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 What's hilarious is that you can just stand here and, like, Fluffy can't do anything. So, yeah, this is Fluffy. This is the only boss that auto-locks onto it for the first uh, big part of the level. Nope. Okay, so first things first, you need to burn the exo fursuit on um, Fluffy in order to expose what exactly Fluffy is. And, Jul and if you uh, don't know what you're doing, Julius eventually chimes in and says, maybe you should use fire then ice. This is actually really, really misleading because... Oh, I got hit. This is actually really, really misleading because he makes it sound as if you need to... Oh, God. He makes it sound as if you need to um, use fire and then... Stop! <laughs> <laughs> he makes it sound as if you need to use fire and then... Um, then use uh, the frosty ring on him once uh, we get to this phase. This isn't true. You need to actually continue to use the flame rings and use the pilot flames whenever they turn on to fire a big shot like that at him. He uh, fires, uh, Fluffy fires rocks, and yeah, this is all you really need to do. Oh, and of course, I died because forget it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my jimmies are still rustled from <laughs> Rex Marks the Spot. Yeah. That's why I don't sound very... Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is really all you need to do. Stand by one of the pilot flames, wait for that to happen. And now this is when you pull out the frosty rings. Yep. Who the heck are you? Your mother. NPC character. Wow. Rude. <laughs> He's like, what did I do? And it laughs for no reason. Alright. Now all of a sudden Fluffy gets a new health bar. All you need to do is... Throw your frosty rings at that fire spout thing and there you go that's it that's the end of fluffy easy boss honestly what type of people to say i am impressed the boss cast is gonna be peeved language you know if things were different we could have been a team just jumping to nothingness yep I see you have retrieved the third talisman. 
so do good. not become complacent mm -hmm. in your quest. There is still much danger ahead. Well, I have to admit it. You're not doing such a bad job, mate. Well, adequate, but maybe, but, 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 but not bad. Now, Julius is waiting for you back at his lab. I think he's got a new gadget for you. Bonza! These lightning thunder eggs are simply fascinating. Fascinating. Why? Is yes. This so? Why? Simply, is this they so? produce even more energy. Than I like Julius's voice in this game. It's just it, the oh, delivery yeah. of the lines are hilarious. I hope it's safe to channel all that energy into my machine. Well, Ty, there's only one way to find out. No, well, it tickles. This. All right, and here's another one of my favorite boomerangs, actually. I like the zappy rings. I like them in tie too. Oh, 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 be careful with the tie. It's quite a shocker. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. And that you know aura what? thing is new. That was not in the PS2 version. No, this was. I don't remember that. It was. All right, so what do you say we take care of the rainbow scales? Yeah. Originally, I was going to split it into a separate video, but since Fluffy's Fjord was so quick, let's go ahead and get all of the rainbow scales in this video. Which means I have to change the thumbnail. Heck. Alright, so rainbow scales, I collected one earlier, and break down these logs. No! What was that? A rainbow scale. I just collected a rainbow scale, I forgot it was right there. Yeah, that one. Um, I collected one earlier, and I didn't want to... Well, that the, that is a rainbow scale. Um, the rainbow scales are scattered all throughout rainbow cliffs, and they're very easy to find. I will show you all where they are. Well, there were the first two. They're over here by Julius's lab. Um, what are your thoughts on the rainbow scales, both of you? Interesting. Um, I'd really look. It's an instant. Um... I'm kind of glad they're only on the hub world and not all the individual levels because some of them were actually really well hidden. And when you get them all, the, um, it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, Granted, it's not really needed, but it's very much worth it. There we are. I, I, I found it actually kind of weird that he made collectibles in the hub world, which is usually rare in games. But why not? They're kind of like rainbow opals, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, they, they are. They have the same sound effect as opals when you collect them. Oh yeah, that's true, they do. That's pretty much it. I like the look, yeah. Yeah, the rainbow scales, uh, some of them are well hidden, but a lot of them are really, really obvious. Like, we already have half of them. I th no, there's 25. Oh, there's, 20, there's 25, never mind. What am I doing? For some reason, I thought there were only 14. Alright, anyway, with the zappy rings, you're supposed to go over here to this generator and zap it, and it opens up this gate, and this is to Cass's Crest, the final level. We will do that in the next episode. Cass Pass, Cass Pass, Cass Crest, and then the final area. You know what? I just noticed that pun that's actually in that level name. Cass's crest. Cassowaries have like this large crest on the top of their head. Oh. I just got that pun. Cass Pass is pretty self explanatory. Yeah, that's just a. That's just a. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't think of the phonic device that it is. Uh, that it is. Anyway, this button right here is behind the waterfall. What you're supposed to do is press this button and it activates that Rainbow platform. Barrel. That is what you are supposed to use to get the Rambo scale that I use the ice platforms for. Yep. I just use the ice platforms because it's much easier to work with. I got that. I was like, why is this moving? I'm like, oh, I guess if I was to do it the right way. There's no one. And for some reason, this Rambo scale was one that always gave me trouble. What you need to do is jump across these rocks, and then land on this platform, 
and I couldn't do that for the longest time because of the uh, the obscuring waterfall. And then you jump over here onto this platform and you get another rainbow scale. That's our tenth one. Oh, there's one. I almost missed you. Hey there, buddy. Give me here. That's our eleventh one. It's hidden in the in that little alcove right there. Star Wars Episode Nine is going to shoot on sixty-five millimeter film. Oh, cool! All right, now this is where I collected one of the rainbow scales. So this would be this would be technically our eleventh one. But since I already collected it, so... Yeah, anyway. An interesting thing. Every time Julius's machine moves, yeah, there is a behind. scale left behind. So, yeah, that keep that in mind. Alright, and there's also another rainbow scale on top of this platform, which is our 13th rainbow scale. Okay, next in this little alcove where the uh, one-up is next to Julius's lab. Fun fact, that thing respawns every time you go into a level and exit. So yeah, you can life grind there, but anyway. Uh, there is a rainbow scale there, and then all the way back here is another rainbow scale. So that was our 14th and 15th one, and why not get an extra life? I have 14. <laughs> okay, now heading on into the previous area... Uh, the second area where Bridge on the River Tie up at Safari and Snow Worries is, you head down the throat of the beast, there is a rainbow scale right there in the middle of your path, and there is another one where the machine is left behind. Uh, that one in the middle of the path is technically supposed to be the first rainbow scale you collect if you don't explore around uh, rainbow cliffs, but since I since I do explore around Rainbow Cliffs, it's usually not the first one I get. And then next, heading back into Belai Belai Station. We shall head back here. Where, in the machine spot, there is yet another Rainbow Scale. And then behind these two houses are Rainbow Scales. So we have our 19th and our 20th. Is that 25 of these things? Yep. Yep. Oh. I don't recall that much. What are the other? Well, I guess I'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do know there's one. But... Now, this is the one that I say is cleverly. Oh, well, he's not going to it yet, but. No, I was just looking around. Yeah, I am going to it. Yeah, the one that's this is the one that's really cleverly hidden. Not that one. Not that one that's in the blatant one obvious it. view. The one that's behind it. Yeah. And there's one you gotta glide to. Yep. But first, yeah, this. I did not see this. This one is really cleverly hidden right there. That's probably the mo most hidden one. The best hidden one. Yeah, definitely. Alright, now we have to head back up there. I think these are like the only collectibles. Well, no, actually, I do. With Tide One, I actually did um, look for all these without using any type of walkthroughs or anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, with Rainbow Skills, I spent like almost like hours looking for these as a kid. I remember like the new Ratchet and Clank. I was able to find everything without having to look. Well, yeah, because they don't hide stuff that well, especially if you play the first one, the original yeah. one. This most of the stuff in the same spot. Yeah, and then like the ones that aren't, it's in like a spot. Like I wonder what's up here. Oh, yeah. look! Like I, this was the first the new actually. This was the first time I ever got to the boss for the first time to find the boss with the rhino. I, rather, I could have done that, but I didn't. I only I only did it because I had enough bolts. I was like, well, I have all the oh not bolts. I had all the cars. I was like, well, might as well. The thing, the and, and, and now I say the final boss is too easy, which I did have a rhino, so maybe it's not a fair statement to make. All right, and this is our 23rd uh, rainbow scale. You have to fly to get that one. And now I have a confession to make. I don't remember where the other ones are. Oh, man. Did you get the ones up here? I think so. Um, they were, like, higher up. Yeah, yeah, I got those. Oh, uh... 
Because again, some of these are cleverly hidden, and it's been a long wait, wait, time wait. since so, I've... Um, there's one that go down the water. No, like over to the right. Waterfall. Well, not I've there. already gotten this one in the small alcove. Oh, yeah. This one right here. Ah, here it is. Here's one right there. That one. And now we are missing one more. Did you get the one on the side of the um, talisman, please? Like on the side of it? Yeah. And you got the one in the back, and you got the one we had to go out to. Mm -hmm. All right, here is the rainbow scale that I forgot about. It is the one oh, yeah. behind here. Whoop! Uh, I see you have found the My, you were looking mighty opaque land. today. All right, so what is your reward for collecting all of the rainbow scales? You get two health bars now instead of one. Oh, thanks. Which is really, really convenient. I suppose. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, those are all of the rainbow scales, and now we have all of the tools necessary to take on Cass. So, in the next episode, we will go into Cast Pass and Cast Crest and the final boss battle and beat Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. So, we will see you all then. Goodbye. Peace. See ya.